Hi, this is Abe from Movies with Abe, and I am thrilled to be here today with director Marshall Cook and star Matt Cook talking about their new film, Film Fest. How are you both doing today? Good. How are you doing? Good, good. It's really great to be here with you. I enjoyed your uh, film a lot. Wow, thanks so much. Thanks for watching it. Of course. So can you tell me, uh, I guess, Marshall, where did the idea for this film come from and how did you go about making it? <laughs> uh, well, it's it's as obvious as you would think. I went to a lot of film festivals and just took a lot of mental notes. And uh, and then finally, I was like, I just saw how rich this world was for comedy. And I hadn't seen a film that represented it the way that I would like. So uh, I made one. Uh, <laughs> I hit up uh, Paul Allen Cope, who's, who's a real true cinephile to uh, help uh, balance it. And um, And I think, you know, within a year of writing it, we were shooting it which is super fast for indie films. Uh, but um, yeah, so it all can, came together pretty nicely. So how much of this is based on your actual experiences and how much is very clearly exaggerated for cinematic value? <laughs> um, it's, it's mostly based on experiences and then all the worst things are exaggerated. Um, so, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I would say most of it's true, yeah. And for both of you, what was it like to actually launch this film at a film festival? Was that very meta, even though it was something that was virtual? Yeah, I mean, we, we really wanted to tour festivals with it live because um, we just think it would play really well for um, audiences that could laugh at themselves. I mean, that's what we're doing with this. You know, we're laughing at ourselves. Um, but, you know, for some reason, uh, <laughs> everything went virtual last year, uh, and I won't labor on that, but uh, um, yeah, it was, it was a little anticlimactic. I, I love the Austin Film Festival. We would have really loved to have gone there in person. Uh, we just, you know, we want to feel that energy uh, of a comedy playing for an audience, and I'm sure Matt did too. Matt is, uh, I mean, what, how many years have you been at the Groundlings? I mean, you've been, and then uh, Man With a Plan, like you're always playing for audiences. Yeah, I, I love having that that instant feedback of live performance. And then with this movie, especially it's, it's so funny and it's, there's so many big characters uh, that I was, I was really hoping we'd get to do a few uh, screenings of it in person. So it was, it was cool to get that for Austin to take us and have the premiere. And then it was also like, Oh, but we're not there. It was a very strange feeling. Um, but it was great. And I mean, it's people are watching it. And even if we're not there to watch it with them, it's still really fun that it's out there. Yeah, I mean, I think watching it made me nostalgic for any type of film festival experience, even one that might have been as terrible as some of the, <laughs> the things that happened in this film. Well, the festival experience, you know, can and should be a lot of fun. It's just about, you know, what you take in. It's, it's you know, your perspective and what your expectations are going into it could be a great destination to also like have a movie playing in town, you know, um, yeah. keep it there <laughs> and then see what else happens. Yeah. And so Matt, you talked about a lot of big characters in this film, but yours is actually one of the, you know, most sort of uh, nuanced isn't really the right word, but it's sort of uh, subtle and calm in some ways. What attracted you to that character? Uh, I usually play real goofballs. So the ability to be the straight man to a bunch of big characters is something that I always look for. Uh, it's something I love to do when I'm performing at Groundlings. I love being, I love being a, a big monster character. And then I also love playing the straight man in another person's character scene and making sure that I can, you know, hit the notes that, that ground it and all that stuff. So uh, for me, it was really fun to play someone a little more grumpy, a little more grounded, and uh, uh, just a different side of, of me, I guess. Yeah, and you have a great scene partner in Deanna Reasonover. What can you share about her as an actress? Uh, she's phenomenal. Uh, Deanna and I worked together on a show called Clipped, which CJ Vanna was also on. That was a, a couple years ago. That's where we met, and uh, we became fast friends on that. And then when Deanna came on board with this, it was just so exciting and so much fun because we, we have that friendship already. And uh, this, the speed with which we had to make this movie made it uh, a, a real asset uh, that we could just drop in and, and go, go toe to toe uh, like that, which was really fun.
Yeah, and for both of you, are there any other great performers from this cast that you particularly enjoyed working with? I, I mean, I loved working with all of them. I can't really pick a person I didn't, uh, that I regretted, you know? And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. But, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, the, I, I was very fortunate to- It's me, he's hinting, yeah. it's me, is his answer. He didn't want me, he wanted to be Logan from the start. He didn't like me in the role. He said he could never see me playing this part, but Paul really fought for me and Ed really fought for me. And here we are. You heard it here first. <laughs> and you also, uh, yeah, go, go ahead, please. Oh, no, no, I was gonna say the same thing Marshall said. It's just like everybody, it was a dream cast and it was like summer camp. It was just like, it was so much fun. Everybody was just running around and uh, it was it was really special. And Will Sasso plays somebody who is very, you know, I, I think familiar in a lot of ways. Was that, without necessarily naming names, was he based on real uh, film festival directors and other people that you've seen places? Yeah, I, I would say, you know, like like most characters, I mean, he's, he's a Frankenstein of a few real people. And then, and then you know, combine that with Will Sasso and, and then you have Montgomery Nash. And was, uh, what was the impetus to have Rachel Lee Cook play herself? And was that because she has a great last name that you wanted to cast her in the film? <laughs> I only cast Cooks. Um, no, I, I, uh, you, I, well, one thing is that I was working out at the same uh, like gym as her. Um, so, but I think we wrote her in there before, like that was just a coincidence. So um, I'm not sure why, we landed on her, but you know, she's just so familiar and lovely and you know, she and and timeless to uh, to me at least. And um and yeah, I just I just I, I've been here long enough to not be scared to just walk up to somebody and be like, hey, do you want to be in my movie? <laughs> what are they gonna say? No? Like I'm used to no. Get away from me, I'm at the gym, sir. <laughs> is a fair response. Sure, I could take that. <laughs> and so Matt, you've done some steady sitcom work. You mentioned Man with a Plan before. How did the how does this kind of film shooting differ from from that kind of thing? It's so different. Uh, I mean, the the multicam stuff I love because the audience is there and you've got all those cameras covering everything and it moves. I mean, this moved really fast too, but the multicam uh, pace is so different because you do it all in one night. And this is like just one scene at a time. And we did a bunch of pages every day. Um, but the the days are a lot longer on a film set than on a multicam set. And uh, it was really, really fun to be able to do this other part of it, this other part of the acting uh escape i don't know uh it was it's great i mean the 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 multicam stuff is a blast it's where i feel really comfortable because it's live audience and then this got to be a little bit more uh focused i guess it's just it's it was cool well speaking of audience what is the best reaction that either of you have received uh to this film so far and what is the worst reaction that you've seen or received um i mean all my favorite reactions are you know i'll, I'll get DM'd or messaged in some way of just like, just, it was so true, you know, it was brutal, honest, uh, nailed it. Like, you know, when people think that I've represented the world, cause we really are trying to take ownership of the world. The movie's called Film Fest. So we're, <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanna make sure that I'm serving, you know, the, the world that I'm trying to take ownership over. So I like, I like all that stuff when people feel like, you know, I, I captured their experience or, you know, one of many characters in this movie's experiences, but uh, the worst, um, I don't know. I haven't really gotten any hate yet. I'm sure it's coming, I'm, I'm ready for it, but uh, we'll see. I mean, now that it's free, there's gonna be a lot, a lot more people that'll watch a movie for free and then <laughs> talk much trash about it. <laughs> my, uh, my favorite reaction was, was probably when my family saw it. They, were, they really liked it and that was, that was really fun. And uh, my mom was like, she got real, she did not like when the, when the relationship, when it looked like Logan was maybe gonna go in a certain direction with the relationship. She was like, mm -mm. she got, she did not like that at all, which made me laugh. And then the worst reaction I got happened a few nights ago. Uh, I was hanging with friends, Marshall, you were there. And uh, Marshall's wife 
was like talking about the movie and she turned to our friend and went, you've seen it, right? And he went, yeah. <laughs> and he's one of my best friends in the whole world. And I went, you liar, <laughs> you're lying. And he went, I, what? And I went, you didn't see it, did you? And he went, no. <laughs> I got really sad. I was like, you bastard. I got so mad at him. It's like also a good one. So I'll, I'll take it. No, yeah. I, I, yeah, I asked mainly because I think that the film, you know, definitely shows the opportunity for people to be a little bit too honest in, in certain cases that isn't always welcome, even if it is refreshing. Yes. Yeah, I would. I will say that's probably the worst, you know, the worst thing you can do to somebody in a fight is ignore them. And it's like more so than hate would just be nobody watching it. Because <laughs> at least like, thank you for your time if you hated it. But um yeah, we're, I mean, we're just excited now that, you know, we're on all these platforms to just get more eyeballs. And yeah, if you hated it, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> and if you loved it, let me know. Yeah. That's fair. So what what serious advice do you have for uh, new filmmakers or actors preparing to start the film festival circuit? Um, I mean, honestly, just like, and I, and I don't mean this, negatively but just lower your expectations you know just just look at just look at a festival as an opportunity to go somewhere new potentially a destination to show your movie to an audience and then if anything happens great what about you matt uh, i'd say for for actors out there that are just getting started uh to focus on your real life and make sure that you're living a life you're proud of, you're excited about outside of the industry so that when those highs come, you can survive those. And when the lows come, you can survive those. So focus on that in between and uh, make that something to be proud of. And then you, you, get to, you get to be a better actor because you feel good. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And what other projects do both of you have coming up next? I'm... Uh, I might be shooting my third movie this October. Um, we're kind of monitoring um, Canadian border situations and <laughs> things like that. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm um, kind of putting that together and I think it's actually gonna happen. But, you know, how dare I believe that, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's hard to, when it's hard to like really invest until it's like, oh, the, 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 here's the contract. It's really, you know, Here's the plane ticket. Um, but yeah, I should be doing my third movie in October. It's a long answer. What about you, Matt? Uh, I'm waiting to get an email from Marshall with the offer to be in that movie. Because <laughs> uh, that's the deal we made. Right, Marshall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. We yeah, yeah, ride yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah All yeah. right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, it's, I've, I've worked on a few things in the last uh, couple months, and then they'll be out eventually. And uh, it's good. It's, it's all good stuff. Wonderful. Well, a film fest will be widely available to rent or buy on a number of streaming platforms starting on July 23rd. I appreciate both of you speaking with me today and wish you the best of luck in the future. Thanks so much, dude. Thanks for having us. Thank you.